Hi, this is Pastor Jeff from Christ Community Church. Love to see you tomorrow morning in worship. We have our missionaries from Romania with us, Britt and Allison Haynes. It's going to be a great morning. We have Bible study at 9 a.m. as well and a prayer meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'd like to make a quick tribute. Today is Veterans Day, Remembrance Day around the world for soldiers. We have soldiers in conflict right now, fighting. Uh, our bases have been attacked in Iraq and Syria. Uh, dozens have been wounded. Thus far, I don't think any Americans have died, but I'm, I'm concerned that this war in Israel is definitely going to spill over and the conflict is going to expand. So let's pray for our soldiers. My wife and I come from a long line of veterans. Our American Legion post, McLean, Illinois, was named after Cindy's grandfather and his cousin, the Burger Benedict Post in McLean, Illinois. Cindy's dad was a World War II vet. There's no one who celebrated being a veteran uh, more wonderfully than Charles Benedict. He died two years ago yesterday. Cindy's had a, an uncle who died in World War II. My mother had an uncle who died in World War II. As I said, my father was a Korean veteran. My brother Steve uh, was a, is a Marine vet. And Cindy's brother Doug is an Air Force and Army vet. Ecclesiastes 3.8 says there's a time for war and there's a time for peace. There's a time for love and a time for hate. There's a time to fight against injustice. There's times to fight against nations that are attacking other nations. So I understand that there is war. But for those who are grieving, for those who have lost, for those who are frightened right now, Jeremiah 8.22 asks a question. Is there no balm in Gilead? Well, there is for those who find peace in Jesus Christ. There is a balm in Gilead. It's Jesus. We used to sing a song, uh, uh, there is a balm in Gilead, the kind that restores my soul. He poured in the oil and the wine, the kind that restores my soul. He found me bleeding and dying on the Jericho Road. He poured in the oil and the wine. That's what Jesus does when he finds us hurting. Jesus will find you today in your hurt, in your pain. He'll be with you in your celebrations as we celebrate those veterans that have served to protect us. I want to thank every veteran who might see this, every family of veterans. Jesus died for us all. He died for our friends and he died for our foes. I'm looking forward to the day where there will be peace. And that day's coming. We're not there yet, but there'll be a time for no more war. I can hardly wait. God bless you today.